Hi guys, welcome back to Impossible. Next up, I have Virgo. You know, I, I missed you guys, but my son came yesterday and I wanted to spend time with him. Okay, so let's see what Spirit has to say for you guys today. I hope you guys are having a great Monday. Um, my son is actually home. He has the day off. Okay. Okay, 18. Past life connection. Um, Aries had this, so some of you all may be dealing with an Aries. Past life connections. You are currently healing past life wounds. Okay, so some of you all are going through a healing process right now. Um, you know, trying to heal, trying to gather oneself. Okay. Um, let go, letting go of the past. All right. But connecting past life connections and 18. Some of you all may be born September 18th, September 9th. But uh, some of you all may be 18 years old, 81. But um, this also speaks of um, connecting with somebody from the past too. Let's see. Oh wow, yeah. You guys are going through an awakening process. Yeah, definitely healing um, past wounds. Uh, awakening process. Dark night of the soul is no joke. 42. Some of you all may be 42, 24. Uh, born September the 6th. Um, yeah, um, August 24th, you are in the midst of a spiritual awakening. So yeah, so definitely healing right now. Uh, again, this is a spiritual reading. Um, yeah, so the dark night of the soul is no joke. Sometimes you laugh, sometimes you cry, sometimes you're happy, sometimes you're sad. Like, it's like different moods. Like, you don't know. <laughs> yeah, so I totally understand what you guys are going through. Some of you guys, hidden treasure, nine again. Ooh, so some of y'all may be seeing a lot of nines, okay? Um, yeah. Um, you are you have brilliant untapped potential just waiting to be explored. So this is awakening is also awakening to your truth and your talents, your spiritual gifts, right? So your, your gifts, your talents. So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Ah, okay, let me see what's the T here. Oh, before this, let me see. Let me get some wisdom talk. Loneliness, longer to be long. So at this time now, yes, you may have been uh, feel lonely because when you're going through awakening process, it's like shutting people out. Um, you're trying to heal oneself, so you cannot be bothered with other people and their problems if you have if you're going through uh, the dark night of the soul. So it's like, but you're never alone. Your spirit guides um, is always with you. God is always with you, right? So um, yeah, but yeah. So you see, hmm. See how this dog is looking with one eye too, but you're watching out for people too. You look, <laughs> you're observing people too. Like you got one eye open, like hey, I still see you. But um, yeah, but po possibly somebody because past life connection, possibly somebody is yearning and missing you too. Let's see because longer to be long loneliness, somebody's missing you. But with this process, when you go through the awakening process, it's like cutting cutting ties with people, people, places, and things. That's how it goes openness embrace the possible wow but it's, it's it's turning your favor from the dark night of the soul to brightness openness embrace the possible so, and you are because you have hidden treasures uh you have brilliant untapped potential just waiting to be explored and you're going to be exploring it so you're you're embracing the possibilities right now that's very good virgo very good okay arrogance get off the pedestal okay somebody may be um <laughs> um some of you all may be arrogant, but some of uh with the arrogance, some somebody might be be um acting arrogant, you know, like they're all of that or uh, and then some. But you know, if you're if you're acting that way and you know you deserve to be on the pedestal, right? I mean, you you have to understand when you go through this spiritual journey, the dark night of the soul, you have to block your energy. You have to you have to maintain that way. Okay, I wouldn't call it arrogance. I would just call it confidence. Okay. You, you got to be confident in oneself, all right? Embrace the possible. So, yeah, you're going to be, um, with your hidden treasures, you're going to be very confident going forward, okay? You're going to put yourself on the pedestal, all right? All right. Now I'm going to pick from what's the T. <laughs> now I'm going to get some cards from what's the T. Because people been asking what deck I use. I use Intuitive Life Oracle Coaching. What's the team? And then I use Wisdom Dog. 
And now I'm using what's the tea. Ooh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh-huh. Ooh. Didn't I say that? Didn't I say that? Look, cried over you. Sad, hurt, upset, etc. So somebody is definitely lonely and really missing you. Didn't I say this? Okay. Yeah. Uh, but acting cold. Right now, you guys are like, look, I, I'm going through my own sh shit too, you know? <laughs> hey, listen, it is what it is, right? But be careful because somebody's trying to impersonate you. But this person, right, you got like a twin. Uh, you see mirroring each other? You got somebody coming in that's going to be marrying each other. Past life connection. Usually they marry each other. Wants to be you. Acts like. Dresses like you. Looks like you. Copies you. Okay. Yeah. Somebody is uh, very envious over you. Uh, jealous. Uh, trying to, you know, clone you. But there's only one you, right? Can't, can't, can't clone. So hidden treasure. So they see the light in you. The brightness. Embrace the possible. So careful with that. But you got, you got your eyes on the, you, you, you monitoring. You're not asleep. Okay. All right. This call, this deck is called situations. So let's see what's the situations going on here. <laughs> oh, look, synchronicity. So pay attention to the sign while you're going through your, um, when you're going through your uh, spiritual awakening. One, 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 two, 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 two. You know, stuff like that. Okay. The spirit is going to be sending you signs. So pay attention to the synchronicities. Okay. Yeah. Somebody might be acting cold towards you as well. Oh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Receipts. Proof. Show me. So somebody's trying to get like, um, you know, uh, proof, like, trying to find out information on you basically that impersonator so careful with that but yeah they're trying to find out some proof you may be trying to find out some proof on somebody else too uh yeah the receipts show me show me the proof and you see the red lipstick it's like a love affair you know like a affair going on mm -hmm. but you're acting cold right now you're not saying anything all right you're uh you put yourself on a pedestal you act like you know whatever but at the same time you still have your eye open one eye looking, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you're focused right now. Eyes for you, fascinated, watching. But somebody's focused on you. Didn't I say this? Somebody's definitely focused on you, impersonator. Um, head over heels over you. They want to come in. Um, but then you have another person that's sad. But somebody is fascinated, they said. Fascinated. Eyes for you only, watching you. Yeah, get proof. Mm-hmm. They're watching too. You don't know it because they're like hiding themselves, you see. So, but you you are you are aware. You are aware. Although you act like nonchalant about it, you are aware. A divine feminine masculine is coming in. You are the divine feminine masculine divine feminine masculine is unisex. Okay. Let me keep going because uh didn't I say murmuring? You're gonna meet past life connection. Ooh, okay. That's right. Put yourself on the pedestal. Divine feminine masculine is emperor empress status. Oh uh, yeah, this is the love oracle. Okay. New deck. Yeah, you see? You're surrendering it. You're letting it go to the divine. Everything when you're 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 waking in process, you're letting it go. You're still you're healing right now. You're taking your spiritual baths, affirmations, you're praying, meditating, very good. But somebody coming in, look, romantic feelings. <laughs> mm -hmm. Go Virgo. Somebody's definitely coming in. So I'm gonna be using my deck. I haven't used this in a while, the witch deck. Um Yeah, but romantic feelings, you see? Because you're letting everything go to the divine right now through your healing process, through your awakening process. You're healing, but you're embracing the possible at the same time because you know. So you're acting cold and distant toward people, and I don't blame you because that's what you have to do, unfortunately. But there's somebody here that is going to be mirroring you. Um, yeah. 
but you have a lot of fans too. Impersonator. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. The Magician and the Two of Cups. Okay, so while you guys are going through the dark night of the soul, some of you all may be manifesting right now. The Magician is a sign of Gemini. Some of you all may be dealing with a Gemini. But somebody is manifesting this. Somebody is manifesting you. Okay, uh, the Two of Cups. It's a divine connection, a soul connection, a 5D connection. You guys could feel each other, feel each other's, um, you know, telepathic, telekinetic, uh, feel each other's energy. Like I said, past life. So this is a 5D. Um, yeah, and with the magician, this person knows how to manifest. But you're manifesting as well what you want at the same time because you're you're releasing it. You're surrender. You surrendered it. Okay. So you're manifesting. They're manifesting. You go. You all gonna come together. You may not have. You may not know this person. Okay. Some of you all may not know this person. Okay, but it's like, you see, manifesting for a source. You guys are definitely manifesting, taking a break from the world, meditating up your head. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. With the chariot, sign of cancer, moving forward, moving towards your light, moving towards um, your potential, your gifts, your talents, moving forward. Okay. No looking back. All right. <laughs> but somebody is coming towards you as well. And you're moving forward aggressively. Okay? Yes. All right. Yeah. With well, the three of wands, uh, this is, uh, your ships are coming in. But this is somebody contemplating. They want to come in and, and have communication with you. Somebody's watching you. They want to come in. They're focused on you. They want to come in with communication. You may not know this person. You may or may not know this person. Take it how it resonates. But they're trying to find a way to come in to speak to you. How to start this. Because it's like cold. It's like they can't read your energy okay um and pedestal you put yourself on a pedestal so it's like holy shit like a little bit intimidated by your energy but this is the two of cups yeah oh my with the six of swords six of wands you're gonna get you're gonna be victorious and out of the situation um six of wands also is like a marriage card celebration engagement um yeah but you see impersonator um all your haters all your haters, you see the guy head in the bubble? It's like, you're just off with it. Like, okay, you're going to be defeating enemies, all right? And silence speak volumes. You don't even have to do anything. Spirit is going to do it for you. Spirit is going to do it for you. And your haters are going to be your fans. Of course, impersonator. Yeah. Ooh, see, with the Knight of Swords, somebody is definitely watching you online, wants to come in with communication, but I see communication coming in online. Some form of online, you may meet this person online, but some type of communication coming in online, uh, wants to speak their truth, wants to come in, um, hoping to be victorious with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, ooh, Five of Swords, okay, but they see you as uh, very um, competitive, very, um, yeah, it's because you had to let go and heal, you're still in the healing process, so you had to cut a lot of things out, so you're really not playing with people right now, you're really, you're really, you're really, you're really not playing, so this person is like, whoa, okay, this one right here, I'm gonna, I, I have, so very intimidated by your energy, because you're no joke right now, you know, yeah, Ooh, with the Knight of Wands, but be expecting a message uh, from this person. They're, they're gonna say it. they're gonna they're gonna take the they're gonna take a risk, but a message coming through. Yeah, see with the Hangman, you're still in healing, sign of Pisces. Still healing, still um, you know, you're not moving at this moment. You're just worried about yourself and getting through this process, the Dark Knight of the Soul. Okay. Yeah, you see? Healing. You may be dealing with an Aquarius as well. Um, healing. So, you see the star. You're releasing with the pouring out the cup. You're releasing every negative energy. You're releasing it and you're surrendering it to the higher ups. You're revamping oneself, renewing one spirit. You're very hopeful. You're manifesting. You're very hopeful that everything was going to work out in your favor. Okay? The scar card is also wishes being fulfilled, okay? Healing, healing, all right? But this person, um, yeah, you're going to be healing to this person. Yeah. Put 
police cars outside. Mm -hmm. It's go it's coming, baby. It's coming. It's coming, and it's coming. It's coming. But with the police sirens, this person see you like, whoa, you know, joke. Dangerous. But, yeah, it's not that. It's just that, you know, you just tired of the bullshit. Now I totally get it. I understand. A star, the star again. So some of you all may be healed already, awakened already. But I see you guys in the limelight, celebrities, uh, social media, you know, platform uh owning your own business really out there really entrepreneurs doing your own thing okay mm. yeah definitely The magician and the two of cups. Yeah, with the devil card, sign of Capricorn. Okay, you guys, you guys, if you guys were drinking or smoking excessively, when you're going through the awakening process, is getting rid of all toxicity. So toxic people, toxic relationships, um, smoking, drinking excessively, taking care of oneself. So you get you 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 surrendering all the toxic. You get rid of your your detoxing right now. Okay, yeah. Because you're definitely going through the hermit, sign of Virgo. You're very going through, you're, you're definitely going through the dark night of the soul, awakening, uh, self-discovery journey, okay? Finding oneself. It's not an easy process, let me tell you that much, okay? You guys may have been involved with the Three of Cups. A third party situation here where people were wearing false masks, toxic relationships, cheating, lying, you know, stuff like that. Okay. Knight of Wands. Just somebody just having sex with you, leaving out, having sex, leaving out, having sex, leaving out. Uh nothing secure in this type of connection. Gemini Aries Eo Sagittarius. So you decided to you, you got rid of it. Okay? You got rid of it. You closed it out. With the two of wands, you closed it out. And decide to walk alone when on this journey, self-discovery journey, the dark night of the soul, awakening. With the strength card, Leo, you're standing, you're, you have inner strength, you're very strong. You're still standing strong because you made the decision, judgment, you made the decision to focus on yourself. Focus on your self-worth with the star card. Very hopeful. You went in very hopeful. Now wishes are being fulfilled. Because I see somebody here. Um, that's emotionally is gonna be emotionally and financially available to you. Somebody is coming in with the ace of one, uh, ace of coins to offer you something solid. It may be a job promotion as well, but you may meet this person at the gym. But this person is coming in nice body, bare. Um, uh, King of Cups is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Uh, the ace of coins is Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. But this person is coming in financially stable and with a lot of love to give. With a lot of love to give. Yes, um, but this person is watching you. They're very intimidated by your energy, um, but you're 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 detoxing right now, and that's just what it is. But this person is coming in. Be prepared for a message to to receive a message. <laughs> okay. You may not know this person. Have like a new love soulmate. Past life connection. A divine coming in. Two of cups. Divine. Yeah. There's a divine connection. Just for you. Okay. Yeah. You see? Okay. Yeah. See? Memories. Somebody wants to come in and build memories with uh, with you, but then you have another past uh, person that's very nostalgic and looking up information, trying to gather information and stuff like that. Still stuck on you, okay? Oh, wow, I just said that. Still stuck on you. Yeah, still stuck on you, okay? But a surrender, surrender, but you let it go. You released it. You released this. You released, you're releasing everything to the divine. Oh, my God, look, you see? You're releasing it. You're releasing it. Okay, somebody wants your forgiveness, all right? But 
you're not settling anymore. You're not settling for less anymore because you're ascending, awakening to your truth. You're ascending. And this person that's coming in is going to be on a 5D connection. This person, this new person that's coming in is going to be 5D. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's very saying this person is going to come in flirting with you to see how you take it. Like, just, you know, playfulness. But first saying, let go of control issues. Don't be too hard. Just trust the process, okay? Oh, my gosh. But you see, pay attention to the red flags. And this is what you did with this person, uh, another person just having sex. So if you haven't released it, you're going to be releasing a person that's just in and out of your life, okay? Um, but this person that's coming in wants to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. Uh, somebody wants your forgiveness as well, wants to ha want a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. But I don't see you uh, adhering to them. Um, but decide what you want because this is going to be happening very soon with somebody else coming in. Okay. Go Virgo. So you hear, here you have one toxic person that you're releasing, but then you have another true love coming in. Uh, um it's gonna start flirty flirty but yeah this person is have eyes for you only watching you i know that what we have is something really special i would never find anyone like you ever again that's why i feel so stupid for letting you go i'm going through a difficult time right now i'm healing my issues healing and slowly becoming the person you deserve i want to do this the right this right that is why i'm taking my time so I want to do this right. That's why I'm taking my time. But here's the thing: you're gonna have a decision to make. Judgment. You're gonna have a decision. You, you're gonna have. You're gonna have to make a decision because here you got somebody else new that's fixated on you, and then you have an old person that wants your forgiveness. I wish I could just run away. I I wish we could just run away together to a place without all this drama. I'm sorry that I can't be what you need. You deserve someone who is worthy of your love. I want to. Very confused energy. I want to. I want to leave the past behind us and start over with you. I just can't stop loving you. Yeah, so, okay. Let's continue. <laughs> Let's continue. Okay. Yeah, believe. Say yes. You see? Trust the process. Say yes to adventures. Say yes to believing in yourself and in your business vision. Move forward knowing that your success is assured. This is business card. Broadcast on the air. Some of you may have already be um, public speakers, um, have your own platform already. Develop your unique voice, then get your message out to your ideal audience. Consider starting a podcast or, or radio show. Diversify. Content marketing, blogs, photos, videos, again, online. Build a no-like trust factor with your audience. Be ambiguous in your niche by sharing your content on diverse platforms. So be diverse. Um, do it for everyone. Appreciate. You're going to be receiving flowers. Somebody appreciates you. Want to thank you. Uh, practice gratitude as part of your sacred daily ritual. Feeling deep appreciation for your blessings and manifest more of um, for your blessings, manifest more abundance and joy. And you're manifesting right now, but somebody manifesting you too. Okay. Look, contribute. Blogging again. Okay. Build your authority by creating content on your own website and by and by guest posting on popular blogs in your niche. Some of you may be writers already. Position expert. <laughs> Step into your power boldly. Own your topic. Show how you can help. Position yourself in, uh, as a, the expert in your niche. I'm sorry, I can't talk this today. Okay, but definitely um, this person is coming in. This person is coming in. All right, let's pull some cards from my Infinity Oracle and then I'm ending this. Not only with money, but emotionally with love. Money and love. <laughs> yeah. Go Virgo. Yeah, dark night of the soul. You guys are definitely going through the awakening process right now. Still healing oneself. Dark night, dark night of the soul. Okay. Um, some of you all may be counselors or therapists, public speakers, counselor or therapists. Okay. 
but right now you're busy and distracted because see you were dealing with a karmic partner toxic devil that you had to get rid of okay but spirit saying have patience and speak your truth okay so you guys are, are um you know speaking your truth right now all right but spirit saying patience Everything is going to be unfolding in divine timing. Uh, some of you are still healing. But yeah, this is your reading, Virgo. This is your reading. This is all I have for you. Okay? I'm possible. You're possible. You're NC Charge of Time. I'm out.